I want to make a, a little video today to share something with you. I was uh, going through an old footlocker looking for some stuff and I came across this. This uh, is the 4th Marine Division book from World War II and it belonged to a friend of mine, Charles Bender. <sighs> Mr. Bender was a, uh, was a Marine served in, in three wars. World War II and Korea and Vietnam and uh, I was blessed to know him for four years. He was my brother-in-law's dad and when we moved to Camp Lejeune we moved a couple doors down from my sister who lived a couple doors down from her father-in-law and mother-in-law and um, just over those four years just just really enjoyed Mr. Bender's um, company and, and his wisdom. He was a good man. And like I said, he, he, fought in, he fought in three wars. And when he died, my sister sent me this, said he wanted me to have something of his and a few other things. And I looked through it when I got it and, and put it away somewhere safe and today ran across it. And what this is, this came out in 1946 and this was I guess you could call it kind of a yearbook, and it's 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 the Fourth Marine Division in World War II, and um, it has a kind of a yearbook look and feel to it. <laughs> Although the subject is a little more serious than than uh, high school, four years in the high school, and it starts out you know with Fourth Marine Division being. Uh, uh, formed at uh, Camp Pendleton and goes on from there and what what I really wanted to show you was what was inside this book and I remember I remember just being awed by it when I first saw it and uh, and I still am and what it is it's a battle map that he had saved from the battle for the invasion of Roy Namur Island, the, uh, one of the islands in the Kwajalein Atoll. Now on this map it says Burlesque Island, but that was the code name given to it. And you can see it says restricted not to be taken ashore on D-Day. A lot of people don't realize D-Day used to be a generic term for Invasion Day. And, and it's it's since become, you know, known for the D-Day of Normandy. But back in World War II, every invasion had a D-Day. So you can see this was the map that was handed out. And he had written notes, I'm sure, were from, uh, from uh, the uh, warning order he was given. I don't know exactly what rank he was on D-Day of, of going, going ashore at Burlesque Island, I know he was uh, in charge of a machine gun uh, platoon when the war ended, so I would assume he was in charge of some machi machine gun section uh, of some degree. Uh, just really interesting stuff. Again, restricted landing information sheet. And none of this is filled out, but so much really interesting. Separated from my unit, what do I do? Uh, what wave am I in? Uh, what equipment am I responsible for taking ashore? And I, I, I don't know if this was handed out to every man or just uh, unit leaders. It's getting windy out here, of course. But um, just so cool to have something like this, that he saved it. And uh, like I said, I wanted to share it with my five faithful subscribers. So cool. So, the two islands of um, this atoll that they invaded were Roy Island and Namur Island. And the code name for them were Burlesque Island and Camouflage Island. And uh, you can see you can see the uh, the beaches, Green Beach and Red Beach, were down here. So they invaded from inside the atoll, which I thought was kind of cool. 
And um, I'm going to go ahead and close this up. Whew. Windy out here. And the book goes on to uh, describe the battle. And um, the 4th Marine Division were in many battles, Saipan, Iwo Jima, and Mr. Bender was there for, for all of those. Um, he, used to, he used to, he didn't tell a lot of stories. So many of the guys of that era were just so quiet. But when he did, they were funny ones. He had a very good attitude. He, he very seldom went dark. And um, he did his best to remember the good times. And uh, I, I think that's a, that's a wonderful uh, trait in um, colorized photos there. And uh, defensive, defensive posture to take um, after surviving something like that. Anyway, I just wanted to share that with you. Um, I guess one of my prized possessions. And... Uh, and I'm glad uh, to run across it again. And now I'll put it back in a safe place. I don't know, maybe I'll, uh, oh, I've been there. I know that place, Iwo Jima. Um, maybe I'll frame, frame that map. I don't know. Anyway, just wanted to share it. Thanks for watching.